Hi, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and welcome to the Polaris XL build project, part three. So I'm getting ready to put the wing together. It's so big, I can't hardly fit it in the camera without getting way back, about six feet. Even with it zoomed all the way out, it's so hard to fit in the wing. But it comes in four pieces. So you got these two back sections that have the uh, ailerons right here. And then you got this big front piece. And then there's even another piece that goes out here on the very tip. So what I'm thinking is, I am going to glue this seam first before I put all these carbon spars in. Like there's got to be one across here, one across there, and another one over here. So three of them right there. And I think there's even one right in the back here. So it looks like four, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, two sides and two across spars. But I think I might do them after I glue all three of these pieces together. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I think the first thing we got to do is uh, scrape off some of these tits. I'm going to take some sandpaper and just remove these little joining pieces that once held the foam together. Right here. So I'm just going to go around and do that first before I join it together. Okay, so just going to glue this side first using the foam tack. Foam tack doesn't dry very quick, so no problem with letting it sit for a while and let it tack up. It's like I might even have to stick some spars in this area and right here too. I don't know, to keep that spread apart. I know it's hard to get all this on camera. Let me get it in there. See, that's a lot of glue right there. I think these cracks will, these cracks here may stay apart because there's a little piece of foam in there to keep them from coming together, so they may be all right. Okay, just make sure you get the same side of the foam up on all the pieces because there is sort of a glittery side and then a plain side. I want to get all the sides orientated the same way. Okay, so now I'm going to start pressing them together. Yep. And my spar fell out here. Let's get that spar back in there. There we go. Like I said, it's just a hole that I'm going to re-glue the spars later after I get this part done. Okay, now we're just going to go around and uh, put some tape across it to hold all the pieces together. And then we'll put some weights on it. Okay, I think I'm going to glue on the nose section too while I'm at it since it's fairly simple. So let's go ahead and tack that up and tape it down too. Might as well just do it all at one time and then I can go back and just do the spars. Again, I'm using the foam tack. push the two halves together this time. I'm going to push them together like that and then pull it apart and just let it tack up. Okay, I've got all of the weights on. I'm just using some bricks here to do the job. And uh, got three bricks here. It's just all I had. Could have used scuba weights, lead weights or something, but that's just what I had on hand. So. Now I'll just let that tack up, and I took the ailerons off, I'll probably work on them. So I went ahead and beveled the ailerons the same way I did the elevator, and I think I'm probably going to laminate these too. So I got the two 
ailerons laminated with the 1.7 mil lamination film right there from Aloft Hobbies. And now they're nice and shiny and strong. And they're still straight. So, looks good. Okay, getting ready to put the spars into the wing now. So, there's the wing. It won't all fit in the camera. But we have two spars to go in here on the sides and two to go down here on the back of the wing. We'll get our foam tack and then we'll just go ahead and apply foam tack to the spar. Okay, let's start with the rear spar. Go ahead and put this in. Spread these out a little bit so I can get the spar down in there. Get a little off center on it. So now all they have to be cut. Yeah, push it down there, John. Got it? Yeah, it's there now. Mm -hmm. I got sticky. <laughs> it's all stickied up. Should we push this in nicely? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, the whole spar is in now. And we'll just push it down in there. Alright. Now the tape. Keep going with the tape. And put tape all along here. Did you tape this yet? I'll get to that. Just give me time. Yeah. And we're just going to go ahead and tape all of these. Okay, now getting ready to put the next spar in. There's only two in the rear. Let's see if I can spread it apart a little bit here. I almost need three or four hands. Just gonna have to go with it because we knew it's rag possible not to touch rag. it. Yeah. I'll get you a new rag real quick. And I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit before I put the tape on it. Okay. And we'll just go ahead like before and we'll put tape all along here to pull the two parts together. Okay, let's do the side spars. Gonna glue them up. Okay, putting in the one of the side spars here. There's two of them. Let's start that out. Now I'm trying to spread this apart so I can get it in. There we go. Now we'll just press it back together, same as before. Then we'll go ahead and Wipe it down, and then put the tape on it. Okay, now putting in the second spar. I've already got the foam tack on it. Begin spreading these yes. apart. This in the camera a little better. And just spreading that apart while I push it in there. Wipe it down. Put tape on it. I think after this we're going to flip it over and put some tape on the other side. But we got to start somewhere. This is that part there too. Okay. What we got on the back side. Actually looks pretty good back here. Pretty good, but I'll just go ahead and put some tape on it in some strategic places. Alright, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna flip it back again. It doesn't stick to that. <laughs> of course, it's stuck to the wax paper. Wax paper is cheap. Let's just put some wax paper over it. Just to cover up some of the glue. Now, let's put this back. And we'll go ahead and put some weights back on it.
and one for the middle. That'll keep it plenty flat. Okay, we'll just well, let it just dry. Well, just for the heck of it, let's put a jar right there. Put a jar right there, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let it dry. So next we'll be working on building the fuselage using the instructions that came with the build guide. Here, 